Welcome back to another vlog. I am at KL today, the central point of Malaysia, the hustle and bustle. I don't know whether anybody else calls it that. It's a big city, okay? It's super early in the morning. I woke up at the crack of dawn just to come all the way to KL. I'm just kidding, it's actually 11 a.m. This is not a cafe hopping episode, but I, I am having coffee right now at Santan Cafe. Ice long black. Pretty nice, actually. I actually need the kick today because I'm in KL. I'm in KL the whole day today for work. If any of you are curious, don't mind me because I'm going to do a shameless plug right now. I do provide freelance videography and video editing services so hit me up <laughs> my shoot starts at 2 p.m uh that's about two, three hours from now. I actually didn't plan to vlog today. It's spontaneous. But when I left the house today, I was thinking, hey, I'm going to be traveling to KL today. KL is a city. It's going to be very vibrant, very happening. And I'm sure that some of you might be curious to know how life is like in KL, especially to those of you who don't live in Malaysia. So without further ado, let's start the B-roll. As someone who makes videos on the internet and vlogs, especially outside, I feel like this is a good time to share with all of you what I bring along with me when I make videos and travel at the same time. I don't think it's necessary for me to share every single thing that I bring along with me, but I am going to list down the essentials. Number one, my cap. Malaysia is a tropical country, so whenever I'm shooting outdoors, 90% of the time, I will always bring my cap. Not just to protect me from the sun, but from the rain as well, especially if it's like drizzling, you know, it, it comes in handy. Number two, my, my mic. mic. I'm using the, the Boya wired left mic. It blocks off a lot of surrounding sound. The audio is crisp and clear and it works really well when I'm shooting outdoors and it's affordable as well, so it's a really good starter mic to have. The only complaint I have is the length of the wire. It comes in this this pouch, it's it's in my pocket. Wait, yeah, this pouch over here. I, I think it's about 2-3 meters in length, so it's very troublesome to pack and unpack, especially when you're on the go and you're rushing for time. But again, it's a really nice mic to start with. I've been using it for the past few videos already. The audio is great. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to where I bought this, just in case if any of you want to get this for yourself as well. Umbrella. My cap will protect me from light raining situations and this umbrella is for scenarios where it gets any heavier than that. It's really important to always come prepared. And speaking about coming prepared, I also have this lightweight jacket. It's thin, it's lightweight and it's made out of a material that dries really fast. Color wise, maybe not the best fashion choice right now but this is also something that protects me not really from the cold but from the rain. And I'm now just realizing that a lot of my things are meant to protect me from the rain. <laughs> Let's see what I have over here. Power bank, an obvious essential. Always need to have power with you. Dry tissues and wet tissues. Last but not least but probably the most important thing right now is sanitizer. And yeah, those are my essentials. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Just done with lunch. It's 1.35 right now. I am going to book a grab very soon to head to my shooting location, which is actually very near from here. A jet just flew by me actually. That's something you don't see every day. Not having a car has its benefits. And one of them is cost. I don't need to pay for a car. I don't need to pay for maintenance car insurance and I'm not gonna lie I get this sense of joy and excitement whenever I'm traveling using public transport especially the train and public transport is cost efficient also but one downside of not having a car whenever I'm traveling for shoots is I need to carry this many stuff along with me I have my tripod my backpack my ring light and my ring light stand my back actually kind of hurts right now from carrying so many things it's times like these where I wish I have a car I just put my grab right it's time for me to make a move It's 5.50 right now. I just wrapped up my shoot. Even though it's been a tiring day, I really enjoy vlogging in KL. I just feel like there's so much more to explore. And I just like the vibe over here. So especially to those of you who live in KL, let me know in the comments where I should go to next. It could be a tourist attraction. It could be a food destination. It could be anything. Leave your comments down below. If you enjoyed today's vlog, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more adventures. Click over here to watch my previous uni live vlog. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.